everyone, Dr. T here to discuss with you male infertility. So much like uh, my last video when I discussed ED, male infertility is not something that you hear about frequently. And when couples are having issues conceiving, um, unfortunately, the majority of the time it's the woman that is taking responsibility for the lack of conception. However, more than 50% of the time, it's due to male infertility. Now, of course, I'm going to give you a remedy uh, for male infertility that you can do at home. It's all natural. However, I'm going to educate you a little bit on the things that we look at when testing for male infertility. So there are three factors that determine the health of a sperm, and that is the sperm count, the motility, and the morphology. Of course, without specific testing, you're not going to know what these values are. However, if you have any inclination that it could be you that's having issues, doing this at home is not going to hurt you. Now, sperm regenerates roughly every 60 days or so. So the treatment regimen that I'm going to give you is something that you would do for a course of two months. And if you had testing done, what I suggest you do is get retested following the end of two months. What they will be looking at is your sperm count, the motility, and the morphology. Ideally, a healthy sperm count per milliliter would be 20 million multiple sperm, which also takes me to the motility part. So motility is what describes the sperm's ability to swim to the egg and penetrate it. This is crucial because even if your count per milliliter is at 20 million, they need to be modal enough, which means swim fast enough and efficient enough to fertilize the egg. And then you have the morphology. The morphology describes the shape of the sperm. So we're talking about a normal sized head shape, the length of the tail and the size of the tail as well um, with no abnormalities. So these three factors are critical when we're talking about the health of a sperm. In an effort to restore health to your sperm, what you're going to want to not do is drink a lot of alcohol or take any drugs. It will be essential that you eat a lot of foods with omega-3, like salmon, uh, a lot of fiber, fruits and nuts, all of that, um, solidly and consistently for the two-month period. Two things that you need to purchase. The first is CoQ10, super absorption. What CoQ10 does is it's going to improve and increase the sperm count and its motility, which is its ability to move. And your dosage will be one a day. That's it. So the next thing I'm going to tell you to get is organic brown maca root. That is M-A-C-A. -A. That is the same thing that I recommended for libido that also works tremendously to improve all facets of sperm health. It usually works within 30 days, but I would like you to do it for the entirety of the 60 days and get retested or not um, and continue trying to conceive. With the brown maca root, you will want at least a half a teaspoon, but no more than a full teaspoon daily. As always, if you have any questions, you know how to reach me and don't forget to like and subscribe.